The City of Toronto is now into stage two of Ontario's reopening plan today. Toronto has seen nearly 14,000 confirmed cases of the virus, accounting for more than a third of the COVID-19 cases in the province, with 63 new cases confirmed on Tuesday. That's up from 37 the previous day. Joining us this morning is the city's Associate Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Vanita Dubey. Doctor, thank you for being here. For a lot of people, it is a new world, so we're glad to have you first thing in the morning. Malls, hairdressers, tattoo studios, public pools, patios can all reopen, and in some Toronto bars, they welcomed customers at exactly 12.01 with eager people lined up to get in. Uh, doctor, who will be responsible for ensuring proper physical distancing and then public health measures are being maintained in these spaces? It's actually now everyone's responsibility. We've given guidelines to restaurant owners, uh, tattoo, uh, barber shops, nail salons for guidelines that they need to be able to per follow requirements actually. You need to wear a mask when you go and get your hair cut and so do the people who cut your hair. But it's also our responsibility as patrons. When we go, you saw that line up there. People were not making, maintaining their six feet distance in line. And sometimes it's those small bits when we lose our guard, when we actually don't really think about it, that we actually all need to step up and, and get on board. Uh, we want to show our viewers some images from Toronto's beaches this past weekend. I don't know if you can see this, uh, but uh, it's packed. Uh, and if scenes like this become common as the city reopens, what should we expect with the spread of COVID-19? Uh, I guess what I'm asking is, has the city baked in certain numbers as they relate to a spike, knowing that people aren't necessarily always going to follow the rules and recommendations? One of the rules in the new normal is, if it's busy, please go away and come back another time. Let, we have to be flexible in our plans that they can't always go forward for all of our safety. With the opening of outdoor pools, you can see places like beaches will get less busy. That's actually one of the reasons why it's important to open outdoor pools. But yes, we expect with the opening of parts of our city that we may see more cases. But we're prepared to do case and contact follow-up. People need to go and get tested, but we actually really would prefer not to have those cases spread. A doctor, um, brass tacks, should people be mandated to wear masks at this point? We have made a very strong recommendation that masks should be worn by all when you're it's difficult to maintain that physical distance, especially in indoor settings. But if you're outdoors waiting in line and you can't keep that six feet distance, wear it outdoors as well. We all have to start getting used to wearing masks. Absolutely. Um, um, my co-host, Anne-Marie, has been referring to the push-pull, uh, finding the, ha the happy balance between protecting the public and opening the economy. How will the city gauge whether this process, whether this balance has been achieved? We actually have a, a dashboard on our website. It's made up a number of indicators. It's not just one thing. It's not just looking at the daily case counts. It's not just looking at the deaths or the hospital capacity. It's made up of four different categories. And so that's how we're going to be able to tell whether actually we're sliding too far down the road and we're getting too many cases. We can't handle this. We need to pull back. And we definitely don't want to be in that situation. Uh, Dr. Vanita Dubey, thank you uh, for being here this morning. Thank you for all that you've done. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks to everyone. It's so great to be getting into phase two. We're late to get in there in Toronto. And I just ask everyone to please do their part. And thanks to everyone as well. Great words to end on. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.